started out because I was driving around looking for those rundown houses and I wasn't following up. And uh, I was really, really frustrated when I realized I had invested like a month, but somebody else bought a property I had on my list. I didn't even have an opportunity to buy it because I hadn't followed up yet. And it was for a price when I checked the county records that would have made an amazing first deal for me. If you're a real estate investor and are wondering how to raise and leverage private money to make more profit on every deal, then you're in the right place. On Raising Private Money, we'll speak with new and seasoned investors to dissect their deals and extract the best tips and strategies to help you get the money, because the money comes first. Now here's your host, Jay Connor. My special guest here today on Raising Private Money is a dear friend of mine. We're in a mastermind together, known each other for years now. He is the founder and CEO of a company. There's a good chance you've heard of it. It's called Deal Machine. And just in case you haven't, Deal Machine is the highest rated mobile app to help real estate investors like you find off market deals. Now, what do we mean by off market deals? We're talking about real estate deals, houses that are not in the multiple listing service. Well, why is that so important? Well, it's so important because there's nothing in the MLS to buy. There's no inventory. So if you want to be an active real estate investor, having consistent deal flow coming in, then you're going to be buying houses directly from for sale by owners. Well, my friend created Deal Machine back in 2017, and he knew even back then that the best way to find these deals from for sale by owners was to go driving around what we call driving for dollars, you know, looking for houses that may be grown up or vacant or whatever, and then sending direct mail to the owners of those houses. Well, here's what he did starting out. He drove it around, he manually, you know, on a pad, wrote down the addresses of these distressed properties when he would come across one. Then he'd send mail to the addresses that he had written down. That's simple. But then something happened one day. He realized that this particular property that he had written down had been sold to someone else and he knew he had missed out on this deal because he had failed to follow up with his leads. So he knew he needed a solution to like automate this process. Well, he's a smart, pretty smart dude and he knows how to write code. So he wrote the first line of code that became Deal Machine. Shortly after that, he acquired his first rental property. And by driving for dollars using the Deal Machine method and process, he went on to build this $2 million dollar rental portfolio by using the deal machine app in just a moment you're going to meet my good friend and the founder of deal machine david lecko welcome to the show david how are you man i'm doing so well i loved hearing your intro you've got a perfect voice for doing this job You've got a great voice, man. And then last time I was here, you really changed my life. You introduced me to a group that I absolutely love and that I get to see you at once a quarter, uh, Collective Genius, but I wouldn't have been able to get in the group without your invitation and even known about it. So thank you. Thank you so much, Jay. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Yeah. Collective Genius is a fantastic mastermind founded by yours and my dear friend, uh, Jason Medley. And uh, yeah, it's a fantastic, fantastic group. And and I've just enjoyed so much, David, uh, getting to know you and hanging around you. You are a just fantastic human being with a servant's heart. And that's why everybody's attracted to you. So let's dive in on this deal machine. So I had you on uh, some time back. Time to have you back on again. Tell everybody what deal machine is. I certainly can myself because I use it. But what is deal machine and what is it about this process of finding these motivated sellers that sets your service apart, say some from other folks. Right. So we're on the Raising Private Money podcast. And part of putting private money to use is actually finding a really great deal. And as you said before, a lot of what's listed with realtors is just priced too high. If you buy it, it would be really challenging to cash flow it, meaning you could charge rent higher than what your mortgage and financing payment would be. So you know how house flippers, they have to find rundown houses to flip. Well, Deal Machine is a tool for discovery and also outreach to uh, property owners that have a rundown house that may need to actually sell their property. And so that's exactly what Deal Machine is, is it's a marketing tool. And we started out 
because I was driving around looking for those rundown houses and I wasn't following up. And uh, I was really, really frustrated when I realized I had invested like a month, but somebody else bought a property I had on my list. I didn't even have an opportunity to buy it because I hadn't followed up yet. And it was for a price when I checked the county records that would have made an amazing first deal for me. So I built it for myself just out of necessity to help overcome my own human nature of not following up. And then it wasn't until later that somebody else wanted to use it that I put it on the app store and it grew into its own separate business. Uh, but Deal Machine today not only does driving for dollars, we also help build lists of vacant property owners and all those other good uh, types of lists that you wanted to, that you can pull if you have, uh, you know, if you want to put that money to use, send direct mail marketing, and then get in touch with those property owners. And the latest thing that we've actually deployed is an AI assistant, because even as much as I've done nine deals, which isn't a lot of deals, but it's several to get under your belt. I still would take a lot of time because I'm so analytical to figure out what the heck should I be offering on this property. And I'm so pumped. The number one thing that the AI can do now is you can just ask it like, hey, what's the ARV on this property? How do you know? And it'll tell you and give me a lot more confidence going in to talk with those sellers because I know the ballpark of where I'm going to need to be at with my offer right away without having to do all that analysis you know, that I was doing kind of after the conversation and then coming back and, and giving them the offer maybe 24 hours later. Well, you know, AI, artificial intelligence is all the talk, all the buzz now. I mean, I never, I didn't even hear of chat GPT until about four months ago, maybe three months yeah. ago. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and it's, it's amazing how many people still <laughs> haven't even heard. I mean, my sister has been teaching fourth grade uh, for almost 30 years now. And um, she was here visiting in town a couple of weeks ago. And I said, have you heard of chat GPT? She says, no. I said, well, let me ask you a question. Do you ever have to like write out award certificates for your kids? She says, yes. And I hate it. I said, well, let me open up my little chat GPT thing right here and I'll type in and I'll get it to write you an award for a fourth grader. Give me three characteristics. I did. And she watched it go, you know, you know, oh, that's amazing. Fast. And it was done, right? She says, oh, my word. And then her daughter, uh, my niece, is uh, working on her PhD. And she never heard of G, uh, uh, chat GPT. And I said, what kind of papers do you have to, to write in college? She told me, I said, well, let me give you a headline for your next paper. Boom, added in three seconds. So artificial intelligence is all the buzz. I want you and me, David, to dive deep on AI, artificial intelligence, and how that can help a real estate investor but before we do, Deal Machine, walk us through step by step. Some a real estate investor gets the Deal Machine app. They got it on their phone. Now, how do they use it? And what does it do? Step one, step two, step three. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So step one is you've got to decide if you have more money or more time. If you've got more time than money, then what you're going to do is step one is go look for a rundown house. Step two is take a picture of it. Step three. You're going to see who owns it right there. Step four, press send mail. It's going to send mail to that property owner. And step five, go do that again, 300 to 1,000 times. Now, if you've got more money than you do time, you can actually, instead of driving for dollars, that step one is going to be go to list builder. And then you're going to pull expired listings with 35% equity that's in your market. And then you could also pull the pre-foreclosure list that are going to go to sale that actual month and try to reach them before that auction happens so they can save their credit and you could buy that house before it goes for sale in the foreclosure auction. You could pull lists like that. And the reason why I say that is for people that have a little bit more money than time is because those lists are easier to get. And so for there, therefore you're going to have to send a little bit more direct mail marketing, but the benefit of deal machine is it's going to be easy to do because it's a mobile app that lets you pull those lists, make those choices send that mail using a postcard that we've provided to you uh, or designing your own or even uploading your own. And so that's basically the five-step process, no matter which boat you're in, uh, to get started finding off-market deals. Well, your uh, service through Deal Machine is just critical today for any real estate investor, particularly interested in single family houses. Again, as I said in the introduction, the off-market houses and properties is where the action is today. It's not in the multiple listing service. Now, the direct mail, let's talk about the direct mail that uh, your deal machine service provides. When you, when you send out the direct mail, 
Um, one of the choices that the user has is to send a postcard that's an actual picture on that postcard of the house itself, right? Totally. Yeah, totally. Most people, if I get a call back, I just got a call back last week, actually. And she's like, hey, you know, I've gotten a bunch of these pieces of mail, but for some reason, I just, I picked up yours and gave you a call. It looks like you actually were local because th this photo was actually on the postcard. It wasn't a Google photo. And I can tell you actually took it with your camera. And I was like, oh, wow, that's so interesting. I've heard that several times before. And I'm really glad. Yeah, I'm involved in the community and I'm definitely interested in helping you out. So that's actually built into the app. You take a photo of the house. It tells you which house it is, who owns it. And you can put the mail piece together with a click of a button, which features that photo that you take. So when it comes to direct mail and, you know, you've got a ton of experience, you're yourself and your team on, on direct mail as it ties in with deal machine. How many, how many pieces of mail do you recommend a minimum of and how far apart? And of course your deal machine has got this automated, but I want everybody to hear it. How many, how many touches, how often should direct mail go out? Uh, how often, how far apart? Yeah, absolutely. Let's talk about the lower budget option, which is driving for dollars. So that's going to range from 300 distressed homes to 2000 distressed homes, depending on the average price in your market. Indianapolis average price, $200,000 for a perfect house. And so that's on the low end. Now, if you're in North Carolina, like you are, Jay, that price point's a bit higher than Indianapolis. So I'd bump it up to finding 600 rundown homes. And if you're in the most expensive markets, like the outskirts of Portland or Seattle or Los Angeles, find 2000 properties. So then you'll have to mail all of those houses six times each. And I suggest doing it every three weeks. Okay. So that can help you calculate your all in marketing costs, knowing that a piece of mail is like 50 cents, including postage. So that could help you guys figure out what you need to commit to doing. If you want to find one of these off market properties in the cheapest way possible. Yeah. Um, and so I'm so glad you said that. I mean, I have got a, a mentor of mine that told me years ago, he said, Jay, if you're only planning on sending out one piece of direct mail, don't waste your money. <laughs> yeah. Don't waste your money on one piece of direct mail because it's the sequential mailing of pieces that make the magic work, right? Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. I mean, really any industry, the marketing advice will say, People don't convert until they've you've reached them seven to 12 touch points. So even when I'm saying to send them six times each, you know, you, I'm playing the numbers game because you've added a lot of properties. Not everyone's going to reach out to you within six times, but you need to do it at least six times when you're planning on how much direct mail marketing you're going to do. Absolutely. Uh, David, just in case uh, someone has to jump off early, I want everyone to go ahead and learn and hear how to get in touch with you and your team and get signed up with Deal Machine and learn all about your services. How can people reach out to you? I mean, the best way to give feedback on this podcast is to leave a five-star review on the actual podcast. If you want to get in touch with me, I'm available. My, my company is dealmachine.com and my Instagram is dleco. I'm actually very active there posting four times a day, responding to comments and DMs. And it's dleco, just like my last name with a D in front of it. Love it. So that's www.dealmachine, D-E-A-L, machine.com. And again, your Instagram was what, David? Dleco. D for David and then leco, L-E-C-K-O. That's All right, right David, let's dive into the hot topic, artificial intelligence, AI. You touched on it just a little bit. What's going on? I mean, things are changing so fast every week. Every week is changing so fast. What's going on right now for real estate investors and how AI can help them? Right. It's truly at a breakneck pace. So if you guys have messed around with AI, you're doing great. You're ahead of the curve because if you don't know how to use AI, it's going to be like not knowing how to use Microsoft Word. So basically in the next two years, if you don't know how to use AI, like your job will be obsolete and you'll, you'll, you'll be replaced if you're actually working a job still. But if you own a business, I mean, the risk is even that much greater, right? You need to learn how to AI so you can keep up with the pace and the productivity that your competitors and others may be using as well. Now, if you've used ChatGPT, fantastic job. The main difference between the, the AI that we have inside of Deal Machine and ChatGPT is that the AI in Deal Machine just knows real estate data. 
ChatGPT doesn't have access to real estate data. So it can't tell you what it was worth, what it was purchased for, who owns it and all that stuff. So that's the biggest difference. It operates the exact same way. And we've predefined like 10 prompts that might be the most helpful for you whenever you're learning how to use the AI for your real estate investing. And I'll tell you what, my personal favorite is just analyzing this property for a wholesale deal or analyzing this property for a fix and flip. Will this property have enough room that I could put private money where I, I'm paying, you know, 8% or whatever I'm paying on it? Will that, will that work with this property financially and will it cash flow? So that's the type of, it knows all the real estate data so it can help you get answers to those types of questions quickly. It's my personal favorite way to use it. But I mean, I also forget what to say whenever I'm walking up to a door and knocking on it or actually going to call the seller because I usually just send direct mail. It's like I'm a little out of my comfort zone. So if I want to do something like that, I can say, hey, can you just tell me a script, what I should say, where this conversation might go? Or would you type up a text for me to this person? And so these are some of the other ways that can help you figure out what to do with a real estate deal more quickly, which I personally value because I hate getting stuck in that analysis paralysis. So, David, you just mentioned that the AI artificial intelligence in your deal machine app or, or service here, that first of all, you can ask it to analyze it for a wholesale deal. So what's the logistics of that look like? Like, would they go into the app, type in the physical address and then give like, you know, that kind of prompt? Um, unpack that for us a little bit. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, you just pull up the app and actually... It, it's right there. It says, Hey, I'm Alma, your AI assistant. What would you like to do? Analyze the properties. One of the things you can auto type in. I mean, you can free type in whatever you want as well, but yeah, you just say, analyze this property. And then it'll say buy and hold wholesale, fix and flip. And then it's going to run the analysis for you. I mean, if you want, I could even do it on the phone here. I just need to sign in. Oh, sure. Let's do it. I mean, let's, let's like do like a, a real, like a property or whatever. Maybe there's a, I don't know, a property that you've been working on recently or whatever but so will will your ai like tell the real estate investor well if i'm going to wholesale this this is the maximum that i should offer the, exactly yeah. that's exactly right yes that's amazing that's amazing so your ai uh, must be pulling or not i shouldn't say must be pulling let me ask the question is your ai pulling sold data so comps How yeah it knows so everything it knows the comps it, it knows the yeah what that property sold for as well man i've been using deal machine for years but now i got to get over there and play around with, with your ai thing and deal machine and see how close your ai comes to my realtor <laughs> <laughs> I know I've been running tests on that too. And uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. That's all amazing. right. So here, here's a property. Uh, I'm going to see if this will focus on my phone. It's uh, it's struggling to focus. Okay. Well, you can uh, just read it to us. Yeah. 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 Okay. So it's, I'm your AI assistant. So uh, what do you want to know about 2301 Calhoun street? I'll say analyze the property. And now it's going to give me the option wholesaling, fix and flip, buy and hold. And so I'll do wholesaling. All right. It's, this property, it's giving you the analysis. Yeah. It says uh, this property could be a good wholesale deal based on the information. The property has no existing liens, which may indicate that it's free and clear of any current loans. The max allowable offers $97,000. And since there's no mention of a loan amount, and the property was previously sold in February 2023. It, it's <clears throat> safe to assume that the property is free and clear. So you can also ask it like, well, how did you get the ARV? Let's see. Yeah. And before you get to that piece, David, how, how can the AI give you a maximum offer and it doesn't know what the estimated repairs are yet? Is that maximum offer less repairs? Well, let's ask it. Let's ask it. So it says the average sold price of the property, uh, which was $68,000 average price per square foot, uh, which is comparable of comparable properties, which is $241. And using the information, uh, I estimate the current value of the property is $176,000. Mm -hmm. What would you estimate for repairs? Yeah, that's like... <laughs> Your AI's got to have ESPN to know what that is. 
So based on the info provided, estimated repair costs, 20 to $50, depending on the condition. And uh, let's see here. Additionally, the building condition is listed as fair. So these two pieces of info estimate the repair costs to be about $25,000. However, please note that this is only an estimation. The actual repair, repair costs could be higher or lower depending on the actual conditions of the property. Okay, well, that's really important information right there. So it came back in a millisecond and said, okay, your maximum offer uh, for a wholesale deal should be $97,000. And it just told us that it was using an estimation of repairs at $25,000. Yeah. So that, what would the wholesale be fee in that case? That'd be a pretty healthy fee there. Yeah. Can you ask it what the wholesale fee would be? Yeah. And so that $97,000 includes having enough wholesale fee in there to make money on an assignment fee. I'm assuming. Yeah. So the wholesale fee would be like 10 to 15% uh, of the actual ARV price is what it's saying. That is amazing. Amazing. David, I think deal machine may be the first or at least the first I've heard of, um, of this type of service for real estate investors. Um, using AI. Yeah, I, it definitely is. It's definitely the first mobile app. So if there's an AI solution out there, I'm seeing it on desktop. So this is, I think, really important for the crowd that's looking for their first deal because 80% of real estate investors out there get their first deal by actually driving for dollars, looking for a rundown house, getting in touch with the owner, and then actually getting that house under contract for a discount, passing it off to an investor. And they're out there in the field. They're not spending a lot of time at their desks. And so I'm pumped. This is available for me as I'm doing that as well outside. I want the access to the AI right there before I knock on the door or right there whenever I'm deciding what I'm going to say if I'm going to cold call that person. So yeah, it's the, mo it's the mobile app. It's the only mobile app that I'm aware of. It's the only AI that has access to the real estate information like that as well that's used in this manner for helping you negotiate, helping you analyze a deal. All right. So now I got a question for you. So I'm going yeah. to put you on the spot. Put Boom. You on the spot. I'm ready for the hot seat. You, <clears> I'm, I'm, I've been doing a lot of hot seats since you got me into that collective genius group, Jay. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so I'm the private money guy, right? I know how to raise a lot of private money. I've worked with thousands of real estate investors, uh, showing them how to raise their own private money. So here's the question, and I don't have a clue to the answer, but you do. Is there a way to use artificial intelligence in helping raise private money? If so, how? Boy, I would need to know even more about raising private money than I already do. <laughs> well, you, need to get to my, you need to get to my next live event, June 21, 22, and 23. <laughs> how, how would I raise private money? Because I haven't, I actually haven't been asked that question yet. Um, but I'm anticipating it to come while you're pulling that up, David, I want to give our listeners and viewers. Oh, you've already got the answer. Well, hang on to the answer. I want to, <laughs> I want to give our viewers a, a free gift for tuning in. I've got my new, uh, downloadable ebook. It's called seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate business and help you build incredible wealth. Now's the time to get private money. This guide will put you on the fast track to getting private money. You can download it for free at jconnor, that's with an E-R, jconnor.com, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash money guide. That's jconnor, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash money guide to get on the fast track to getting private money for your real estate deals. All right, David, what does your artificial intelligence tell you about raising private money? Raising private money can be a good option to finance a real estate deal like this one. Here's some general suggestions, personal network, reach out to people you know who might be interested in getting better rates than their savings account. Real estate meetups, advertise the opportunity in social media, crowdfunding platforms, or hard money lenders. I think it needs to add number six, Jay Connor's event, June 21st and 25th. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, that's pretty cool. So you, you go in there and you, and you give it a, uh, a prompt of 
how to raise private money for real estate deals. And so it's giving you like a checklist of different ways that you can use that. I'm going to write it. What would I say to a family member that might want to be my private lender? Let's see what it says. Don't you love playing with that stuff? <laughs> yeah. And it comes back so fast. Okay. Yeah. It says, Hey, family member, I wanted to talk to you about an investment opportunity that I think you might be interested in. I found a property that has a lot of potential. I'm looking for a private lender to help me finance the purchase. This is a safe and secured investment that can provide a good ROI. Would you be interested? So how does that differ from what you would say? Yeah. So what I do is I, I, I separate and I teach separating the conversations of talking to a new potential private lender and talking about a deal because I got eight and a half million dollars of private money that we use from projects to projects to projects. And interestingly enough, David, I've never asked for money. I've never asked for money. I've never pitched a deal. And they say, Jay, how do you get all that private money? And you never ask anybody for money. Well, the answer to that question is I put on my teacher hat and I start and I teach people, people that I've got some kind of connection with. I teach them what private money is. They never heard of it. Right now, I've got 47 private lenders. None of them ever heard of private money. They didn't know what it was until I taught them about it. And they never heard of self-directed IRAs and how they can use their retirement funds in addition to just investment capital to get unlimited earnings per year, either tax deferred or tax free. So I teach them what it is. I teach them my program, what interest rate that they can earn safe and securely, how we protect them, how we sell our houses, how they get their money back in case of an emergency. It takes about 20 minutes to teach the program. I don't even have to ask them for money. And I, when I get through teaching how it works, then if they've got investment capital or retirement funds, they're going to be saying, well, how do I get started? Do I write you a check? And of course the answer is no, you never write me, private lenders don't write me a check. They're going to wire their funds to my closing agent, my real estate attorney, when we have a deal. So they tell me how much they got. And so then I said, I'll put your money to work for you just as soon as possible. So let's say in a couple of weeks, I call them up, believe it or not, David, we actually still have handsets and cords attached to handsets here in North Carolina. A lot of people haven't even seen that. But anyway, I'll call up my private lender and I'll tell them I've got great news for you. I can now put your money to work and I'll tell them where the house is located, the township, what the after repaired value is, the funding required for the deal. I know they got it. They already told me and the date that we're going to close on the deal. That's it. And so I'm not asking them if they want to fund the deal. That's the most stupid question in the world I would ever ask. Of course, they want to fund the deal. They're waiting for that phone call. So in answer to your question, what do I say to a private lender? One of my favorite ways to start a conversation with a potential private lender is by asking the did you know questions. I love did you know questions. One of my favorite did you know questions is, did you know that there's a way people can earn unlimited money per year tax free? Of course, I'm not going to know the answer to that. And the answer is, well, it's by using self-directed IRAs where you have a Roth IRA and a separate IRA. And then that leads to a conversation. So again, in answer to your question, David, we separate the conversations between teaching and someone learning about private money. And then we actually deploying and putting their money to work to invest in their first deal with us. Does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I always forget about that Roth IRA I've got sitting around, Jay. I mean, I need to invest that stuff into real estate. Jeez. Yeah. Well, I mean, my question is, is, you know, would you like to get high rates of return safely and securely? Oh, psh, yeah. All day, every day. Well, I'm your man. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I got, uh, I got $60,000 in there. What can I do with $60,000, Jay? Well, I can't buy a house with $60,000, but I can put you a minute to work and I can use it for rehabbing a house. Most of my rehabs are 40, 40, 50, $60,000 of the rehabs. Amazing. And what type of return in time frame could I expect for doing that? 10% would be your return. We pay 10% for rehab money. And typically on the rehab money, we're going to be using it for about six to nine months, depending on you know the scope of work that we're going to be doing. That's amazing. Less than a year, 10%. And if something goes wrong, I've got the house, but nothing's going to go wrong, right? You've well, done this so many times. 475 rehabs. Of course, we never get the estimation of repairs totally correct. 
It always costs more. Murphy always shows up. But the magic is not in estimating repairs. The magic is in making the right offer, which there you go with your AI in your deal machine, knowing what to offer. David, one more time, tell everybody how to get signed up and signed on with deal machine and get any questions uh, answered. This is something you've got to put in your hands and try yourself. I promise you, you're going to have so much fun and you're going to be able to analyze deals so much quicker by getting a quick response and analysis through AI. The best place to sign up, seven-day free trial at dealmachine.com. And then uh, if you have any questions, we've got an active support team. You can ask the AI. You can ask my support team. You can ask me at DLECO on Instagram. And then I think that's everything that you asked for, Jay. That's where you can get a hold of me and try out the AI that can tell you it knows everything about that property you're looking at. And it's also available on the mobile app in the palm of your hand while you're out there looking for deals. Head right on over to www.dealmachine.com and you can follow David at DLECO, L-E-C-K-O, on his Instagram. I love you, brother. Thank you for joining me on Raising Private Money. Love you too, Jay. Can't wait to do a deal with you. You got it, man. Well, there you have it, my friend. Another amazing episode of Raising Private Money with Jay Connor. And I need your help. I know you don't want to miss out on any upcoming episodes. So be sure if you are listening on iTunes or Spotify, be sure and follow. And be sure to, if you're watching on YouTube, to click that bell and subscribe. And be sure and share this episode. What an amazing episode with David Lecco. I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority, wishing you all the best. Here's to taking your real estate investing business to the next level. And I'm looking forward to seeing you right here on the very next Raising Private Money with Jay Connor. Are you feeling inspired by the knowledge you gained in this episode? Then head over to jconnor.com slash money guide. That's J-C-O-N-N-E-R.com slash money guide and download your free guide that shares seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate investing business right now. Again, that's jconnor.com slash money guide to get your free guide. We'll see you next time on Raising Private Money with Jay Connor.